Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you had a wonderful day. I've got something here I want to show you. I'm not going to make a big meal tonight. I'm going to make something really light, um, but it is one of my favorites here. And it is uh, tuna fish. I don't know if you ever have tuna fish. Um, this is tuna and water. comes in a can. I'm going to go ahead and bust these open. It's real easy to do. Um, I'm going to choose to toast my bread. So that's one thing that we we'll have to cook. Other than that, everything's going to be already ready or right here in the can. So first you want to open your cans. real good you're gonna like it trust trust me all right here we go so, i choose to use onions not everybody likes onions in there so if you don't want to use that then feel free to skip that part i'm just looking to make sure there's no little metal shards or anything i hate this can opener i can't wait to get a new one yeah, see, look at that tiny little metal shard. Look at that crap. It's like they want you to die or something. I don't understand. Who would design a can after another that would create tiny little metal flakes? Oh, boy. Anyways, you want to drain this. So go ahead and pop the lid off. You might have it in a pouch. Sometimes um, it comes in a pouch like this. There's like 20 different flavors. Pretty good. If you have to take it with you somewhere like you know you have to take it to work or something like that. Very versatile product, I'm surprised. Go ahead and throw that in your bowl. I'm surprised at how versatile it is because it comes also in um, like a little meal kit that it has crackers and everything that you need in there. Take your other can. Don't forget to strain the water out. Man, if you ever wanted to make best friends with a cat in your neighborhood or something, you lay one of these out, that cat will be at your house every day. <laughs> something about that tuna, boy, they can't even get enough. Alright, so this can is going to be wonky. What the heck? Right, I'm going to try to drain the juice the best I can. Yeah, you say that juice for those cats, man, they will go crazy. It's got like catnip. So I have my two cans of tuna out. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to wash our hands. Number one, number two, clean up. Always good to be clean. Okay, we've got our can opener put away. So we need to get our bread. Make sure we have everything working with that. Get my toaster oven on. You don't have to toast the bread, but I just feel like having a toasted um, tuna fish sandwich. Do you ever get cravings like that? You just have to have a certain thing on a certain day. I don't know if that's true for you, man. I love being able to feel cravings like that when you hit the shit. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a tuna fish sandwich. One for me and one for Kayla. All right, I've got the uh, oven preheating. Now you want to take your onion. If you're choosing to do onion, let's see what you're seeing. Yeah, you can still see the onion. Perfect. So I've got my bowl here. I'm also going to be using sweet relish. Let me go ahead and throw that in. I'm going to put a whole spoonful in. Why not go two? Two spoonfuls. A little bit of mustard. Mayo. Pepper. And the only thing we're missing is the onion. So let's go ahead and get the cutting. It's going to come with this layer up here, the skin that you want to peel off. Hoping this onion is still good. It's been down there for like a week or so. Yeah, it's going to get that first layer off. So I'm having to peel the first layer off just to make sure everything's legit with this onion. Can't 
hand just peel it back like that. And that's all the stuff that we don't need, so let's put that in the trash. top part doesn't really look like something looks off on that okay yeah some of this onion I'm just going to use this outer layer I don't know what's up with that it's looking a little darker right there in the middle so I'm going to take and chunk that so I'll be able to salvage this because I think I'd cry if I didn't have onions in this so this layer right here is perfectly fine. It's all white and nice. There's nothing wrong with it. So let's dice that up. I like to make little strips and then I'll come back and try to chop it up again. The washing machine is done. Let's see what that noise is. Alright, we got some diced onions here. Anything that's real thin like that, I will take off. We don't need a whole whole bun bunch of onions, so that'll be sufficient right there. That's the thing, man. That's a perfect example. That happened right there in front of you. It looked like the onion was good on the outside. You get to the inside, it's completely trash. Like and that's the, a lot of things that I, I keep saying. I'm not going to shop at Walmart anymore, man. That's what I've been getting all my produce when I get it home. It doesn't last. I mean, it, I'm, to be honest with you, it's been in there for about four days. But I mean, it's an onion. I feel like. Maybe I just picked a bad one. I don't know, but I feel like it should last longer than that. All right, we're done with our relish. And as far as the onions go, let's mix this up and see what we have here. Let's see what you can see. All right. So I'll just take this. Some of you might not like tuna at all. I used to not like it brain food it really is once you start eating tuna it has a lot of DHA and uh, EPA in there it's really good for you I think it's called EPA uh, that's about environmental protection agency I know that's also an acronym for that but it's um something like that but anyways it's um it's a number one product in infant formula and stuff like that because it helps the, the brain develop DHA look it up very very good for it diroxy hypo-nuclear acid or something like that I don't know exactly I guess I shouldn't quote it but alright so but yeah that's what you'll find in this tuna it's really really beneficial and I kinda have to jazz it up to be able to eat it I don't like the way tuna tastes on its own so I have to add stuff like this but it's getting to the point now where I think it's mixed up what we want to do is do a taste test just to see always do a taste test I wouldn't normally put the spoon back in there, it's just me though. So I can tell this needs a little bit of salt. It's off a little bit. Something's off. Let me mix that up. And add a little bit more pepper. And this is the key right here, tasting it, man, because let's say you work at a restaurant and you're satisfied with that and just push it out. You're probably not going to be there long because you didn't taste it. That's the key to being a good chef. Make sure you taste it. Okay. Alright, so. I'm mixing up my tuna. Perfect. Alright, I'm wondering if I need a little bit more of this uh, relish. There's some more in there. I didn't even notice that it was there at all. And this is going to put some of that juice in there. I was wanting to use this anyways. I don't want to go bad. Okay. 
our bread smells like it's done. Yeah, I think we just need some more relish. That's looking better. It's looking better. And honestly, I like it a little bit more mustard too. That should be sufficient. We'll put these items away. Do we add pepper? Yeah, we added pepper, I think. Alright. And I, what I'm not thinking about is I added two cans of tuna. I would normally just do one. And maybe that's what I'm thinking about as far as the amounts of each one of the additional ingredients that I've included in here. I've just made it for one serving. And now it's actually for two for me and Kayla. Or for Kayla and I, excuse me. Okay, so we're going to do another taste test. Real simple, real quick. I've seen some people put cheese on there before. I'm not a big fan of that. You can even do half sandwiches if you just want to spread this out. Put this on top of some crackers. I've seen some people put celery in there. That kind of gives it a different kick. That could be interesting. That was fast, easy, fast for the most part, and easy. This one needs a little bit more, I think. Okay. A little bit burnt on the toast, but that is my tuna fish sandwich. And it's really crispy, really delicious. Let me cut one in half. I've never been one of those people like needing the crust cut off or any of that jazz. <laughs> but I just like to slice it in half so that you can see what we have here. It looks good. It tastes good. Try this out. You can do chicken salad too. I chose to use tuna. This is a tuna sandwich. Tuna salad sandwich, whatever you want to call it.